Hello and welcome back to the studio. This little piggy by the market, this little piggy stayed at home. And I thought we'd do something special for the kids today. And uh, because it's the summer holidays and you can paint with them too. So if you've only got a few uh, paintbrushes and a couple of colours, um, that's all you need really. Um, you can go and download this little thing from um, the, uh, my website if you want to. Uh, it is free. It is absolutely free for the kids to download and have a go. Um, I think that's important. So, um, yeah, so download that, trace it. This is a little um, 7x5 panel. So without further ado, let's just get on to the lesson. All right, so um, I'm going to be using a plate today, um, just a simple common garden plate, um, because that's all you might have. Who knows? I'm just going to put that by there. There you go. So you can see the colours, and uh, hopefully you can see my my little thing. Um, just a bit of tap water, just plain old tap water. There you go. Um and I thought we'll have a, a little bit of red. There we go. Let's put a little bit of red on the on the on the plate. Now, what you're going to find it with this? It's going to dry pretty quick. Um, I'm going to put uh, uh, some white onto my palette as well. There we go. A little bit of white just stuck there like that. I got some more red. Let's just put a little bit more red on there. And this is for the kids. If you want the kids want to join along, they can. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of ultramarine, ultramarine blue and drop some paint on, on the worktop. <laughs> so make sure you put stuff down on the worktop. Um, I've got a little bit of Prussian blue. Let's get some ultramarine blue. Let's get some ultramarine blue But there. There you go. Now what I suggest you do when you're using um, a palette like this, um, just get a little bit of, just get a little bit of water and just... Spray those paints just a little bit just to stop it because this acrylic paint is going to dry very quick on you. This is not gessoed. This is just plain um, a canvas panel that I've just drawn a, a little piggy out. Um, and I thought that would be a bit of fun. So without further ado, let's just get on to it. I'm going to pick up any old brush. I don't know what even brush that is. A little filbert brush. That'll do me. Um, you might not have one of them. You might have one of these. Um, I'm sure that you've got one of these little filberts. Let's just use that. And let's just mix a little bit of white. And let's just get a little bit of pink going on in there. A little bit of ultramarine blue. There we are. So we've got a, like, like a purpley colour. Ultramarine blue. And a little bit of red. It's going to start giving us a little purple colour. There we go. Very, very pale purple. More white. And let's just scrub that in. Let's get a bit more, let's get a bit more p blue to it. Gonna have to be precise. Just put it on nice and thick, like that. Just go around your lines. Just go around your lines like this. And it's fantastic to be able to paint with the children. I'm just mixing a little bit more ultramarine blue. I'm just gonna tap that in like this. Just make a little random size pattern. Oh, there's Molly chasing a cat. I wonder if you've got any pets. Have you got any pets? Let me know if you've got any pets. What type of dog? Or have you got a rabbit or a cat? Or have you got a tortoise? Tortoise is a um, few and far between these days. You don't see many of them now. So let's put a. Let's just paint the background. Like I said, this is something you can do with the children. Get them involved in art. It is very important that we do that. I think it's a, an importance that children are taught a lot of skills. Um, even if you just bake in with them or something like that, I think it's important that we in, involve the children or grandchildren in the process of, of painting because it, it gives them a little bit of a, an artistic look on life. Be a bit more creative. Be a bit of creativity. A bit of creativity. That's what we want. Create activity there's not enough of it in the world so just carry on painting around your outline is tracing cheating well as you know i have mentioned this so many times in the past and it is not no all our main artists of trace trust me they do they don't tell you they do but they do and um of course they do anything to save time but a bit more Bit more purple up the top end there, like that, bringing a bit of that down. This is just a fun, quick 
painting that we can all do. And if you haven't got any grandchildren or you haven't got any children, then have a go anyway. I think it's just a fun way to get you into learning to paint. Once you've created something, then it's easier to create again. And you get the bug. You get that bug, you do. Just put some white marks here and like that. Like put some bit, bit of white down there like this. There we go. And if you quick, give a little squirt of water like that. And um, go and pinch one of your your parents' makeup brushes. <laughs> I didn't say that. Mums, I didn't say that. No. So you need a nice soft brush. And all you need to do is just very, very lightly just go across like that. And a couple of lines down like that. Just to give it a little bit of a, a background effect. Don't worry about your pig. Don't worry about the pig, because he's going to go wee 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 all the way home shortly. There we go. And um, I'm just going to place that into some water. Okay, so let's get a let's get a let's get a fat brush. Let's get a let's get a fat brush. We need a fat brush. Oh, this is a brand new brush. I'll use that one. Why not? Yay! We got a new brush in the studio. There we are. Wow. Okay, so purple. We need a dark purple. Let's get some of that ultramarine blue and get some red. That looks nice. Touch of white. That looks nice. Keeping the colours. And let's just paint in. Here's you using a bit of moisture, a bit of water. Paint his ear in like that. He's got really, really dark ears, this one. There you go. I'm just going to move my seat. There you go. So I'm not going to be taking our main camera up. There you go. Paint it in like that. To sit down for hours with my, my, my mother painting when I was a child. I used to enjoy painting. I still do, in fact. I don't say I, I don't not enjoy painting, of course I don't. I enjoy making videos. I enjoy having you around in the studio. And I upload every Monday. And if you'd like to see more children's painting then let me know and then I can put an odd um, children's painting up just so they can play and paint with you we've got a couple of characters in there I have got a um, a, a child's painting channel um, so if you want to know about that just drop me a line in the comments and I'll give you the link to that channel and um, we've got a couple of characters in there we got Grandpa Joe um, and we've got Ozzy the ostrich, yeah. And we've got a little parrot. She's a wonderful little thing, she is. She's really Welsh. So I'm just putting some shadow in. My grandchildren have uh, appeared on that channel a couple of times. Um, because they enjoy coming into the studio. So let me know if you want to know what our channel is. <coughs> Just using simple brushes and simple brush strokes, we can tighten things up. As we go, a little bit of moisture. This paint is dries very quick on a plate. I don't like using plates, in fact. I don't like using plates. But this is all you might have. This is all you might have. And I thought, well, why not? You 
this little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. So you could paint five of these, couldn't you? You could paint five of these with different expressions. And you could have them all around your bedroom, or you can sell them on craft fairs. And I have done that actually. I have sold some of these on craft fairs. Actually, sold a couple of sets of these little piggies. And it's just a fun painting, as I said, if you've never painted before. It's not all about painting landscapes and impressionisms and portraits and it's not all about being photorealistic and, and all that type of stuff let's put a bit of shadow in now it's about having fun and I paint because I like to paint I paint to have fun. I paint, I think, enjoy. And I think if I can bring a little bit of enjoyment along to you wonderful um, viewers and subscribers out there, then I know that I've done my job well. And that's all that counts. There he is. We could do a, a little series of 7x4 panel paintings, I think. Just be fun. We could... You tell me what you would like to see me paint on a little panel like this. Maybe, maybe you want to see more animals. Maybe you want a little landscape. I don't know. You need to tell me. Because if you don't tell me, then I don't know what, what you want. So let me know in the comments what you would like to see me paint. On a little 7 by 5 panel like this. These could take 10 minutes or so maybe to paint. So that would be good. A little 10 minute challenge maybe. Or longer. I don't like to keep myself to a specific time scale. But if you want a little quick little lesson. Then that's all you need to do is let me know in the comments below. There we are. Let's get a little bit of that purpley colour. And just put a little bit of shadow in his snout. What we can do is we can do his eyes in a second. Just building up his. shadow is his little feet because he got off feet otherwise he won't he'll just roll around <laughs> this little piggy went to market this little piggy stayed at home there you go I'll just put a little bit of light in his ears like that if you've got one it would be a good idea if you found a really small sharp detail brush like this and uh, mix a bit of blue and red together get it really dark the more blue you add to this the darker that's going to get and then we could put his his eye there we could do his other eye there like that get a bit of this dark colour just darken up there, get it to a little point and just put a little little tiny tufts like that maybe not maybe not if you don't like it just lightly brush them in like that there you are 
That looks good. I'll have, I'm happy with that. Let's get his eye there, like that. Get a little bit of white on the tip of that brush. Just give him a little bit of a eye like that. We can make it look quite human, in fact. Let's make it look a little bit humanish. There we are. There he is. And then you can get a little bit of white just on the tip of that brush. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit thick. Just put a little bit of light here and there. Just like as if it's just catching a bit of highlight. Maybe there, like that. There. And then you can sign that name. You can sign your name bottom corner and there's a nice little this little piggy went to market painting and that's it all done this little piggy went to market and there he is what a wonderful little way to spend some time with the children